Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an inverse of your pattern. Currently, I have open one of my Photoshop templates that you can use to uh, create um, digital paper packs. This is part of my product, uh, Digital Paper Lab, and I'll leave a link to it in the description. But I just wanted to demonstrate um, why I create uh, inverses of my patterns. So here in the patterns panel here, I have my essential patterns um, set here, which does come with Digital Paper Lab. Um, but what you'll notice here is we have a polka dot pattern and then we have its inverse. So just to demonstrate for you here, I'm going to go ahead and open this pattern layer here. We're going to select this first pattern here and then I'm going to go ahead and save this. Command or Control S. That way it will be updated within my template. And then I'm going to go uh, jump over here. And then as we can see, uh, the pattern has been updated and we see our pattern. And we can zoom in here a little bit here just to see our polka dot pattern here. Um, I could export this pattern as a digital paper pack. Um, we'll jump back over into the pattern layer here. Um, if I select the um, inverse of it, and if I go ahead and save that command or control S here, and then jumping back in to my template, you can see that it is now the inverse. So um, in this case, the background is white and the uh, color is our color and we can zoom in we have red we have orange we have our green we have our blue here and so this can be an entirely different uh, paper pack here as well so maybe we choose a different pattern right here we've got these uh, overlapping circles we can save it here and then we can uh, create a digital paper. I'd probably scale it down a little bit there, but we have our um, this version of our pattern, and then you can select the inverse, save it, and then you'll have the other version with white as the dominant color um, versus the uh, color here. So I just wanted to show you um, an example of why I like to save um, inverses of my pattern. Um, it's especially helpful when using um, a template like this. So let's go ahead and I'll demonstrate how to uh, create an inverse from one of your patterns. So I'm going to go ahead and open a new document here. Um, I'm just going to use the dimensions of 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. Um, resolution set to 300 pixels per inch, color mode, RGB color, background content set to transparent. And then I'm going to go ahead and create that document. Uh, let's just demonstrate this with creating a polka dot pattern. So I'm going to access my ellipse tool here. And then we'll just hold shift and draw out a circle using the move tool V. We can bring it to the center of our document here. And then I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. Let's go ahead and turn on our pattern preview mode. So we've got view, pattern preview here. And then I'm going to uh, duplicate this. So you can uh, right click uh, to duplicate layer. Um, also you, on the canvas here, I can hit option click for Mac, alt click for PC, and just drag it to the corner here. And then I will get my uh, polka dot, uh, repeating polka dot here. Uh, with the pattern preview mode open, you can uh, now save this as a pattern. So uh, one way to save your pattern is go to edit define pattern. If you have your patterns panel open, you can also hit this plus icon to uh, save your pattern. You can give it a name and then just click on OK. So we have the start of our pattern. I'm going to go ahead and turn the pattern preview mode off. So we'll go view pattern preview. And then I'm just going to highlight both of those layers and then just group them so I can easily turn off the visibility there. We'll just click to add a new layer. And then from the patterns panel, I can just drag my pattern in to create a new pattern fill layer. 
So now I want the inverse of my pattern. So I'm going to right click on this layer. I'm going to rasterize this layer and this just turns it into pixels. So I can um, command click or control click on this icon and you'll notice that it selects the pixels here. We are then going to go to select the inverse. And then I'm just going to create a new layer and I'm going to fill those pixels in with my foreground color, which is black at the moment. So I'm going to go option delete for Mac users. That will be alt backspace for windows. And that will just fill in those uh, pixels there. And then I'm going to go ahead and deselect those pixels. Command or control D. And then we can just turn off the visibility of this layer here. And now we can save our inverse. So let's go ahead and save that as a pattern. And then we'll click OK there. So let's just go ahead and test that over here in our document. So I've got my original one here selected. And then we'll go ahead and save this so it's updated within the template here. And then jumping in, we have our polka dot pattern here. And then if we also want to create a pattern pack of the inverse, I can select the inverse here. We'll save it. And then you can also create a digital paper pack out of this of the polka dots, uh, but with white as the background versus um, red as the background there. Thank you for watching this video on how to create an inverse of your pattern and why it can be beneficial, especially when you're using um, templates like this. In this video, I demonstrated um, one of my uh, template packs that's included in my product, Digital Paper Lab, and I will leave a link to that in the description below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.